How many of you can answer this question asked in an AP calculus exam sat by students in the USA, USA? Let's take a look. Now, AP calculus students actually can use a graphical calculator to answer this question in seconds, but I thought that was boring. I wanted to compute the answer. So find the area enclosed by the function f and g between x equals 1 and x equals 2. Now let's take a look at the graphs. e to the x looks like this, and ln x looks like this. Now they want us to find the area between x is 1 and x equals 2. Now the ln graph crosses the x-axis at 1, and 2 is over here. So it wants the area between these two graphs between 1 and 2. And this is quite a simple calculation. Well, to find the area between curves, we need to integrate between the top curve and the bottom curve. The top curve is e to the x. Then we're going to subtract the bottom curve, which is ln x, dx, between 1 and 2. To compute this integral, we can consider the integral of e to the x between 1 and 2 separately from ln x. Now, the integral of e to the x between 1 and 2 is super easy. The integral of e to the x, e for easy, it just integrates to itself between 1 and 2. Then we, sub <laughs> then we substitute in... <laughs> wait, what? Then we substitute in 2, e squared. Then we subtract, substitute in 1, e to the power of 1, which is just e. Then I'll just have ln x over here. Now, the integral of ln x is a very interesting one. We can't just integrate it directly. We need to use integration bypass, bypass, bypass. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? We need to rewrite it as a product of two things, which is ln x times 1. And then we use integration by parts. We leave the first term, integrate the second. 1 integrates to x, minus differentiate the first term, which is 1 over x. Then we integrate the second. These two brackets are always the same. The x's cancel, and we're left with the integral of 1, which is just x. So we get x ln x minus the integral of 1, which is x, between 1 and 2. Subbing in 2, 2 ln 2 minus 2, then when you sub in 1, we get 1 ln 1. Ln of 1 is 0. Remember, I showed you guys that's where it crosses the x-axis. And then we get minus 1. So summing in 1, we get 0 minus 1, which is minus 1. So we get this, subtract, minus 1. Well, 2 negatives is positive. So we get 2 ln 2 minus 2 plus 1, which is 2 ln 2 minus 1. So to conclude, we are doing this, take away this, which gives us e squared minus e. Take away this. It will be minus 2 ln 2. Then the double minus here becomes plus 1. And that is our answer. Beautiful, Mike. Nice. Follow me for more crazy mass content like this. <laughs>